So for today's presentation, what I'm going to present is Rep 3D, a software for 3D modeling. Um, this is very powerful tool for 3D data processing. So um, what is Rep 3D? So Rep 3D is 3D modeling and sculpting software that is designed for artists, designers, and game developers. It is developed, it was developed by Art3DS, the company that specialized in developing software for um, 3D industry. It also allows users to create complex 3D models with ease and precision using a variety of tools and techniques. The software features a user-friendly interface and a range of powerful tools for sculpting, painting, and texturing 3D models. So these two um, bolted features differentiate Rep 3D from uh, Maya and Blender. So um, Rep 3D is specialized in 3D scan data processing. So they also provide um, interactive user inter interface as shown in the image. So all the functions are modulized like this, and by connecting the modules, we can implement um, 3D data processing. So um, this presentation is not about the paper or research. Um, it is about uh, what is REST 3D and how we can use it effectively. So this presentation would be informative for those who work with 3D models, for example, Flame, 3D MM, SMPL, so on, and those who use raw 3D scan data and want to process them efficiently. And also for those who wish to change topology of 3D models while preserving the overall geometric shape. And for those who wish to sculpt 3D model easily. So the, um, I'm going to explain about the features, but um, not about very complicated, complex feature, only about basic feature. So the first one is wrapping function. Wrapping function takes an existing base mesh and non-rigidly fit it to every scan. So do um, so you see my cursor? Okay, let me use later. Yeah. So this is base mesh. And if we want to um, fit this mesh to this um, scan data, we can use wrapping function. So let me show the demonstration. Hello. OK. Um, I will briefly introduce the wrapping function. So as previ previously mentioned, wrapping is the non-rigid fitting of a base mesh to target mesh or scan. So wrapping can be divided into two types. The first, first type is when the poles of the base mesh and target scan mesh are the same. So we need to load the target scan and base mesh models into model loading modules. Then, um, by using the wrapping function, with lines, uh, so we can connect the load, loaded models into model loading, oh, line, models with lines in the wrapping function. So uh, we also can adjust the fitting option appropriately. So you can see the that the base mesh fits the target scan like this here. And the second type is when the pose of the base mesh and target scan mesh are very different. In this case, you need to use the point selection module, this one, to manually specify several corresponding points between the meshes. So here is the result. That's all for the wrapping function. And the second feature is 3D scan data processing. So 
this, this can be divided into three functions. First one is fixing non-manifold topology. There might be some um, unfilled part, portion of the mesh. So we need to fill this portion. And the second is um, removing spikes from scan. There might be um, particles around the meshes, so we have to eliminate them. And third one is decimate a scan. Decimate means uh, we can change the triangles of, I mean, the faces of the mesh. Uh, we can also, we can increase or reduce triangles. So let me show the demonstration. Hello. So, Assume that uh, I want to process this scan mesh. First, I will use the repair geometry module to fix the non-manifold topology that is not filled in like this. By using a uh, repair geometry function, the unfilled portion of the mesh can be filled like this. And yeah. And uh, you can see small particles around the scan model, which can be automatically found using the selection, select small component module. So by adjusting the threshold, you can um, change the level of the selection. So uh, particles are removed. Then, um, Lastly, we have to remove very small uh, spikes, like bumps on the face, as shown in the video here. So, you just see the differences? Yeah, by using the remove spike module, we can remove bumps on the face mesh. The problematic area so the third uh, feature is six symmetry node. Um, we can make symmetrical models out of non-symmetrical scans. So a uh, given body model here, we can create symmetrical models. So let me show the demonstration. Hello. Here are red scan data and blue model fitted to it. When the fixed symmetric function is applied to blue model, it becomes symmetric on both sides. Here is another case. The following model is very interesting. The position of the left and right arms are different. So in such cases, how can we make it symmetrical? This can be achieved by adjusting the side dominance parameter, when the value is zero, the arm are positioned roughly in the middle of the both sides. And when the value is one, the model fo follows the position of the left arm. And when the value, oh, yeah. When the value is negative one, the model follows the position of the right arm. Which makes the model. So the fourth feature is replacing node. So it replace it takes two models in the same topology and seamlessly replaces a part of one model with a part of the other. So here it, here are meshes that have the same topology, and if we want to um, change the portion of the right model, replace the portion of the right mo model by the portion of the left model, we can um, simply apply replace node. Uh, let me show the demonstration. Hello. So there, there are two models with the same topology here. So what we want to do is to replace the upper half of the body. And later point. Hello, everyone. Oh, did you see, uh, do you see the cursor? Okay, so um, 
So we want to replace the upper half of the body of right model with the upper half of the body, no, upper body of the left model. So um, by applying the replace node model, like this, we can obtain the following result. So before, um, actually before applying the replace node, we have to um, specify the portion where we want to replace, like this. And here is the result. The left model, the upper body of the left model was replaced by the upper body of the right and up. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, no, no. Upper body of the right model was replaced by upper body of the left model. Yeah. And here is another um, case. So if you want to change uh, the shape of one ear to a different shape of different shape of ear. So we first need to position ear model on the on the ear of the face model. Then we use the subdivide geometric function and select polygon function to mask the area of face like this where we want to apply wrapping function for a uh, wrapping function. So by using the wrapping function, again, we can um, get, the, get the ear of desired shape. Um, I think this is the last feature, basic feature. So subset node is separating a chosen portion of the face I know, 3D model into distinct subset to edit and edit, save, load, wrap, or transform. And go back, detach geometry to the original model. Here is the demonstration. Hello. So, um, Given the full body model, what we want to do is to edit, um, only edit face model. So we have to extract extract space from the model. So we can use subset and select polygon module. Like this. I can do the model now. And we can cut, uh, we can extract space from it and save the face like this. And then we can reload the face to uh, apply further addition or wrapping function. So, what we want to do is fit this model to this scan data. So um, this was demonstrated very early in the presentation in the wrapping function. So I'm going to skip this one. Yeah. And this fitted model can be um, applied to the original model like this using apply subset node here. Between the head and the body. So um, here are applications of Red 3D. Um, Red 3D lets you convert a series of 3D scan of actors to production ready characters sharing the same topology and texture coordinates. And also it can be applied to scan based blend shape 
given a series of 3D scans of actors' facial expression, it can um, generate a set of morph targets for further animation. And it also can be applied to auto rigging. Rep 3D is known topology. Wrapping a known topology around a full body scan is um, known as a starting point to many auto rigging tools. And lastly, it also can be applied to virtual tri virtual try on. So um, fitting a body model with a known topology makes it easy to adjust its shape or take measurements and a perf and perform cross simulation. So while I I'm using this software, I I have noticed one big limitation that that is from wrapping function with topology. It only works well for the masses that share the similar appearance. So it cannot be applied to stylized stylized face mesh. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, that's all for my presentation. Do you uh, have any questions? Yeah, it seems like a very useful tool. So I'm wondering yeah. what's one made you interested in this software? So I need, for my research, I need to um, use various face parametric models like face warehouse and flame. So, um, I I was I I need I needed to mod, model 3D model face to make a stylized model from using uh, using face warehouse. So I I tried to use Maya and Blender, but it was so complicated for um for me so i i got a recommendation from hangun he recommended me um rest 3d developed from russia and yeah <laughs> that was the starting point and then does this model handle surface model does this tool handle surface model or volumetric model or both? Mm, I think I've never seen they are using volumetric model. Or but, tetra -hydro model. No? Only deals with a surface mesh. I think so, but uh, I need to see uh, more documenta documentation. <laughs> I only see the case of using surface model. Okay. Uh, I have a question. Yes. So, does it support the skeletal skeletal animations? Um, I think they work for skeletal animation. I only um uh, extract features that is useful for my research. So. Yeah, so I was wondering that if we can use the, the rep 3 d to, for example, like the hand animation with interacting with some objects mm -hmm. so, that we, uh, so that we can refine that the object mesh and the hand mesh does not uh, what is it? Penetrate each other. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering, they support the skeletal animations. I also have a question here. Uh, does it also provide some tools for texture mapping? Yes. Then if you re how is it um, fit the topological mesh into some kind of raw scan, mm -hmm. do you also able to? transport the texture from raw scan to the topological yes. mesh. Oh. Yeah, there is module that transform texture 
um, after applying wrap, wrapping function. So uh, we can get a new texture that was that is suitable for fitted mesh. I see. I see. Yeah. I also have a question. Yes. So in this software, can we create our own module or plugin? I think you can uh, from what I heard, but like I guess you have to check it out. But I heard um I think uh when we were doing the project last year, uh we bought raw scan data, which was like processed quite nicely, but we didn't have a registered model. So uh we sent the model to engine visualware and i heard that they used this software to register all the model to smpl mm -hmm. um, and then what they have found out is that if uh the if the vertex and the template model like kind of correspond to each other you can like easily create like a script to automate the process. However, uh, what I heard is that since uh, like scanned model doesn't have a regular like ordering of the vertex, um, they said the artist has to manually select the correct vertices to get like the correct result. So from what they he has said to me, seems like you can make a script or plugin to do some sort of automation. Okay, thank you. Thank you.